Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Jada2057. Today we're going to run through the settings you need for QuickTime Player to run a smooth Minecraft when recording. So firstly you want to go into your Minecraft, I'll enlarge that, I'll enlarge single player. And basically when you have these settings, your Minecraft will run smoothly when recording and there will be like really minimum lag. See right now I'm really recording practically and I'm not even lagging whatsoever. And yeah, if you're wondering what that is, I was just testing the new update. So basically all you want to do is you want to have in your 1.7 or whatever you have, you want your graphics to be on fast, you want your smooth lightning to be on off, want your 3D analog to be off, your GUI scale is normal, particles are decreased, full screen obviously off, I don't think that matters, but anyway, and yeah, yeah, bobbing off, advanced open, GL off, clouds off, server textures on, that doesn't matter, probably have your render distance around there, frame rates, I'm not sure, I don't think that really matters. And yeah, when you have that, you literally will probably have a smooth run Minecraft like me. Because I run all these other settings and it does nothing compared to when I did that. But yeah, if that helped you, make sure you sub, like, comment. Because it's only a quick video, but you know, if it helps you, then that's all it needs to be. Quick and short. So basically, if you have those settings, then your Minecraft... Well, for me, my QuickTime Player ran really smoothly. It allowed me to use QuickTime Player as a recording system for my Mac. And yeah, because I had to have a demo version of ScreenFlow with the watermark on it, and trust me, it doesn't look very good. Because I couldn't find any way to get this QuickTime Player non-laggy on my computer. But enough said. If you enjoyed, sub, like, comment.